Hi there, found this podcast, thought you might like, the Scare Your Friends podcast, hosted by Skillfully. It is a podcast that is designed to eradicate abnormal podcasts and creepypasta. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the bare bone reactions of four people as they react to normal porn. Four normal people. How will they react? Why don't you take a listen and see? How we react to normal porn for normal people. Warning. This podcast contains sexual references, as it can be seen in the title. Viewer discretion is advised. So, for the first time in a while, and for the first time ever, I am going to be doing a video with uh, with uh, multiple people for normal porn. Disaster. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, All right. Did you so, porn? yes. Dude, so, so introducing crazy. everybody, we have my friend Dylan. Hi. So, so what do you do, Dylan? What's your experience with creepy pasta? None. You have none. Oh. None. What do you do in college? <laughs> I'm a journalism major at Suffolk Community. So you've worked with short stories before. No, not really. No. All right. Well, thanks for that. This looks a professional already. <laughs> I also have Nate. What's up, Nate? Hi. Nate's here, and Dan. My experience is that I write short stories, and I was an English major, and uh, I, the creepypasta experience that I've had is uh, Ben Drown and the, the, the Game Boy one, the, the Quantum Cartridge. Right. The fuck. Well, the ones that we're going to be doing here, at least today, are not going to be like gaming related. And I also have my cousin Will. Yeah, Say hello, uh, Will. I'm an accounting major, so this is like right up my alley. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So clearly this is a very professional podcast. So, how about we go with our most squeamish person to read the title of our story. Nobody knows what the title is. So Dylan, why don't you uh, read the title of this uh, creepypasta. Oh, right there. Yeah. Uh, normal porn for normal people. Oh, so well, how's that creepy? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> All right. I had it pulled up on this one, and now Brett Farb is. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Whatever. Is it on so yours? professional? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I so think we're in the clear. We well, have to read it. Uh, I'm gonna have to read it on there then. I thought you were it's reading. I have to like. Swap. All right, I guess I have to pass uh, it around now. Excellent. No, no, no. He'll he'll bring it back. All right, so what does everyone think when they read the title Normal Porn for Normal People? And you Probably the most possible. horrific shit humanly possible. So do you think normal porn and normal people? No. Well, that was normal to the normal. No, do you, um, know, do you know what... That's exactly what I thought. Creepy could be normal to them. Do you know what the title reminds me of? Did what? you ever read that Chuck Pal- Palinuk, uh, Palinuk, whoever wrote Fight Club, I forget how to pronounce his last name. He wrote a story, a short story about masturbation. Have you ever read that? That sounds fascinating. It's not good. Oh. It makes you never want to jerk <laughs> off again. It's it's three it's three fake Try stories. Me. It's three fake stories. The first one is like um, the kid shoves like a, a wax thing in his pee hole. Oh, all right, all right, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh oh they get, they God! Get, they get so it's just sounding. Then. They get progressively worse and worse. Like. There's three stories, and they just it's just very grotesque. I have okay. no way to check if this is... So it's just like gore porn, but for your penis. Yeah, yeah, and it's like... That's gross. Don't jerk no. off, because... Dude, read people, it, people, people are into sounding. It's like a thing. It's creepypasta yeah. like eating Someone had been reading that and just nodding. Just you know, yeah, being yeah. like, this is perfect. It was gross. It's a pretty gross story, but that's what it reminds me of. All right, so the way this is going to work, I'm going to read this popcorn style, so we'll all take a paragraph, and then we'll stop oh, when uh, to take, like, some... <laughs> Did you just almost fall? No, 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 I'm shifting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a project. <laughs> so, this is what I'll say. Now, obviously, I've read the story. I'm a huge fan of Creepypasta. Now, here's what I'll say about Creepypastas. There is a lot of very famous, very well-known Creepypasta. But there is a lot of shit pasta. Like, a lot of very bad. So, I'll say this about normal porn for normal people. It's very well-known. But that can mean multiple things. On a scale of 1 to 10... How good of a creepypasta is I'm not going to say. Oh. That's for you to decide. I have a question. Where did the name creepypasta come from? Copypasta. Copypastas. Yeah. And, and they where did the creepypasta come from? It's, copypastas Copy-based. are like, yeah, um, it's online okay. short stories. And then creepypasta is oh, okay. a segment uh, off that. That makes sense. Okay. I just learned something. So, yes, as you can see, very genuine novice at creepypasta we have in here. Well, which is the point. That's pretty rude of you to say. <laughs> I mean, that's the point. I wouldn't have you in here if you I were. I'm shit tier novice, not just novice. You're shit tier everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's All right. what you think. All right, well, I came here to hear a story, so I'd appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to read a paragraph. I guess I'm passing the computer around. Let's I mean, how are we that. doing this? Sure. I have it up here. Yeah, let's see. So just, get... just start reading. Have okay, so here we go. So for every like paragraph or so, we'll, like, we'll, we'll stop for analysis and what we think. So here we go. 
Everyone knows that if you surf the web long enough, you'll see some pretty sick shit. This is especially true if you intentionally dwell into the dark underbelly of the internet. I've seen quite a few things I don't care to admit to, but one thing that I'll always remember is the site called normalpornfornormalpeople.com. I'm not looking that up now. Are we talking about that, or is that not worth talking about? I mean, what do you think about the site name? If you have anything to add, just say it. I have nothing to I add. I think that sounds really gross. So, <laughs> it, is the, it is the most conspicuously inconspicuous <laughs> title. It's like, this is not a, not a hack. It's like, it's like hdporn.com. Not like, a lot of this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's not real. Rest, it's like porn.com. <laughs> okay, porn let's see. The first strange thing about the site was that I didn't find it by actually looking for it. It was emailed to me by someone I didn't know. Oh, the email was as follows. Hi there. Found this site. It's... Found this site is very nice. Thought you might like. The you is not grammatically correct, by the way. Normal porn for normal people dot com. Pass it on for the good of mankind. Pretty standard issue chain letter, although the URL and the last remark really piqued my curiosity. I was having a very boring day when I got this, so I made sure my antivirus was working and then I clicked on it. Smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very smart. All right. It was a very average, very generic looking site. It gave the impression that the creators just barely gave a sh barely is capitalized by the way. Nice. Gave a shit about making it look professional. The author seemed to have a very tenuous grasp on English, and on the front page was a long, boring, and incoherent rant that I don't remember or hear or save. The site had a strange tagline, which even today people haven't figured out the meaning of, which was normal porn for normal people, a website dedicated to the eradication of Abnormal sexuality. Oh no, this is oh, good. Oh shit, this is man. Good. <laughs> Missionary for all. <laughs> That's how the pilgrims did it. <laughs> and by God, if it was good enough for them. Get under the shades, honey. <laughs> From Jeans the sound of that, I wasn't sure whether I was here to watch porn or if I had stumbled onto some kind of eugenics porn program. program. But I was here now, and I was very, very curious to see what normal people get their rocks off to. So I scrolled down through the rant, nothing. The page didn't seem to link to anywhere else, and I was about to leave and leave when I noticed every word of the rant was its own hyperlink. So I clicked one of them and was sent to a white page with a very long list of links in the form of normalpornfornormalpeople.com slash random letters. So I stopped for a minute and I asked myself if I really wanted to waste God knows how much time Clicking random links that will likely give me a virus that will rape my computer. Very vulgar there. I figured I'd just try it wow. for maybe five minutes. Just to see if anything came up. I clicked one of the links and was sent to another page. This page apparently had totally different URLs than the last one. I was just about to say fuck this when I clicked on the third link. And a video download came up. It was called peanut.avi. It was a 30 minute video of a man, a woman, and a dog in the kitchen. A woman would make a peanut butter sandwich, and the man would set it down for the dog to eat. This was all that happened for 30 minutes. It was obvious that the cameraman had to stop filming and wait for the dog to eat, be ready to eat again, and the dog seemed rather sick by the end of it. So is it like, like dog, but what's that like ballooning fetish where you keep feeding people? And they it's kind of like that. So, so like that for dogs? So what's your reaction to peanut dead AVI? Because that's not normal at all. It's, this is not... Good start. <laughs> Just ominous shit going on already. So think We're of the website. So this is, keep in mind that this is a porn site. Like, people are supposed to get their rocks off to this. Right. I don't like that phrase. Please don't use it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. All right. I don't appreciate it. Can you point that again? I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> All right, I got it. I know what you're thinking. What the hell does that have to do with porn? I have no clue. I've seen a little over two dozen videos from this site, and the majority of no sexual activity at all. After watching Peanut.avi, I went on a certain image board I frequent, Imber, to play online show and tell, like I always do with weird shit like this. But someone had already made a thread about it, some guy who had received the same chain letter I did. The image board thread got lots of people with nothing better to do than dig through the site, and that's how I saw other videos. And down the rabbit hole we go. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> We good. Yeah, I think so. What's your think? What's your thoughts on this so far? If I if you had to have any. It's boring. Hey, really? Hey now. 
Most of the... <laughs> this sounds like a normal Shut person. Shut up! <laughs> Most of those two dozen videos were very uneventful and consisted of people talking to the cameraman in a room with nothing in it but a desk and a few chairs. I mean, literally nothing on the walls or in terms of furniture. The whole room had a very cold, sterile feel to it. So like a casting couch. <laughs> the conversation yes, was really. idle banter about previous jobs or embarrassing childhood moments. I kept expecting some kind of discussion about what people were filming or what the site was about. But of course, nothing. You would never know these videos had anything to do with porn if you saw them out of context. I will say one thing, though. The people who appeared in these videos were quite attractive. However, the other videos that actually did feature content, which I suppose could be called sexual, is where things got weird. I'll give brief descriptions of the Stranger videos. If you, you're really eaten up with curiosity, you can try to hunt them down on a torrent site. Lickedclean.abby, a 10 minute video filmed by a hidden camera in which we see a repairman working on a washing machine for the first two minutes. When it's fixed, the repairman talks to the owner briefly, then leaves. The owner checks to make sure the repairman is gone, and he begins to lick all over the top of the washing machine. This goes on for seven minutes. Male or female? Doesn't say. That's important. <laughs> so what about this video? Any thoughts on um, the idea that he has to actually wait for the repairman to leave? I could probably make that work if it was an attractive woman. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I think so, too. That's I mean, it is normal porn in a normal pinch. people. That's so. fair, and I'm very normal. So, I will <laughs> say, th this is what I will say about the, the pasta. This is where it starts listing off all the videos. So, you're going to see, like, right. we're going to get all the videos. So, this is, like, the meat of the pasta. We're going to, well, <laughs> the it meatballs. is. <laughs> the meatballs. The pasta. Okay. Jimbo.avi. A five-minute video of an obese mime performing an act. It was actually pretty funny, particularly one part. But he pretends to pull up a chair that pretends that it breaks because of his weight. In the last 30 seconds of the video, the camera cuts to static briefly and cuts to the man sobbing quietly, still wearing the mime outfit and makeup. Some kind of obscure fetish? I think a sobbing mime would kill my bones. Why does that sound creepy? Like, <laughs> yeah, those sound actually <laughs> creepy. Do you just want to go through the whole list before you switch? No, I mean, you can keep talking, but like, look, this, this is important. Like, what do you think about each, like, video as we keep going? So far, that sounds stupid. Why is what it is so creepy about this? Get the light out of your eyes. Jesus, really man, creepy. this is... If you found this on the web, you'd be fucking creeped out by this. Dylan's gonna be the creepypasta non-believer oh, in the room. No, no imagination. It's, it he is a creepypasta. <laughs> <laughs> it may be Italian, but I'm not a pasta. Diana.avi. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Jesus, Jesus man. <laughs> uh, Diana.avi is a four-minute video in which the cameraman talks to a woman in a room different from the interview room. This room looks like one you'd find in a normal person's house. That checks out. Exactly where they are is never specified, as Diana only talks about her violin playing. She obviously plays her violin, but keeps getting distracted by something. I didn't notice this until someone on the image board thread pointed it out. But if you look at the mirror in the background, you can see a fat man in a chicken mask masturbating. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that's, that's good stuff. Nate, what do you think? I just saw you kind of wince there a little bit. It's not as creepy as the one before, but it's just a little creepy. <laughs> yeah, that's like... It sounds like Blue Mountain State. It's like jerking off to a stalker. What the hell's Blue Mountain State? It's a it's, really, it's really a shitty a very show about a fraternity show. football. It sucks. <laughs> if anybody out there is listening to this and watches Blue Mountain State and loves it, stop leap. listening to this podcast. Great. I don't want you listening to this podcast. <laughs> and, and uh, the one, no, stay here. I need you. one listener. Sorry, Depart. Chuck. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Jessica.avi. Another four-minute cameraman video. This time he's outside a house talking to another woman. They talk about canoe rides. The camera zooms out to reveal the city streets behind them occasionally. The strange thing is, no one so far has been able to identify where the street is. Guesses have ranged everywhere from Europe to Australia to the Philippines, but there's yet to be a match in the street shown for the video. That is really fuck. That's fucking weird. Because you know, you know this like... I know this is all, like, fictional or whatever. Stop making that fucking face. All right, Dylan. Um, what is going on? I don't the... That's the whole point! <laughs> Dylan, whole it's a creepy point story. It doesn't sound creepy. creepy. It sounds like a normal day. That doesn't sound... That's like normal you? Normal for you, a chicken ass. Jeez. There's millions of people on the internet. I'm going to jack off to it. <laughs> Well, that's the <laughs> point. It's a like normal porn for normal people. Not come. You should. We should not have budged. <laughs> you want to do it with him. No, but here's the thing. Like, that's creepy because you know there's always some asshole on the internet that sits there on Google Maps for hours trying to figure out 
you yeah. know, where it's being shot. There's yep. always somebody that figures it out within the first 48 to whatever hours yep. of posting. And no one can figure it out. That's, yeah, it's really strange. Very creepy. That's a very subtle, weird... Yeah. All right, Nate, what were you grimacing about? Sorry, I was just... He, like, read through it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nate. Oh, I think that's the best one. Yeah, Wait, did he get Mannequin? Give it to yeah. us. Oh, you got Mannequin? Oh, just, oh boy. I just... No, you got tongue tied. All right, you know, all right. You know what's going All right, ten-minute video. The first five minutes consists of an elderly woman making out with a mannequin. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> the video cuts out like, like it did in Jimbo AV halfway through, and the scene is now a group of mannequins huddled together in a circle around the camera. The lights have been dimmed, and the elderly woman is nowhere to be seen. From this point on, there is no sound. Just dust coming out of the air. That sh- yeah. Mannequins are fucked. That's just, dude, dude mannequin. Star. Okay, okay. Mannequins are the new clowns. Well, ser- yeah, seriously? Mm. If, if I watched that, I'd be done. Dude. I'd be done. I'd be crawling. Imagine, it's and, like, like 3.30 a.m. You're just <laughs> you're sitting there like... A woman vulgar. making out with a mannequin and a bunch of mannequins standing And then the it wolf. cuts out and pops back in. No. What's with the cutouts? I, like, what? I don't Imagine know. if you, you hit orgasm right as they cut back in. You're like, no! <laughs> it's like, I will say this. I am, I listened to another podcast called Undercooked Analysis, and they basically... What they were talking about on that one, they did the same, pod, they did the same uh, story, and they said that the mannequins in the last five minutes they're almost like judging you. Yeah. Like that's exactly how I imagined it. it. Yeah. So it's, like, it's like a circle jerk with mannequins. It's here's the thing. Like, it's more like an <laughs> anti-circle jerk. Like with mannequins. whatever. They also said that you can associate the mannequins as being cheap. You know, mm. like you know, like a. You're reading too far into it. Maybe. I don't think so. Uh, Dylan, yeah. I don't think you're reading enough into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Dude. Stumps by uh, Stumps dot AVI. Five minute, a five minute long video where a man with no legs is attempting to break dance on a DDR, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> a DDR mat in which, <laughs> what looks like the kitchen from Peanut Dot Abbey, whatever the hell you call that, AVI, AVI. AVI, whatever, but much dirtier. There's a radio playing music unseen in the background, but it stops at the four minute mark when the man collapses on the mat in, in exhaustion. He breathes heavily and pleads with someone off screen to let him rest. This off screen person becomes terrified. Her finally enraged and yells at him to keep dancing, which he does. You can hear this off-screen person begin to scream as the video ends abruptly. That's like those like really like dark, deep internet pornos mm-hmm. from third world countries mm-hmm. where they're clearly in pain and clearly not into it, do and you, you feel really bad. Do you, do it's like taken. This is like watching the this is like watching the fucking ring tape. This just reminds me. Okay, you know like short clips of weird like, shit. Ten minutes ago, I would have laughed about. It. Now I'm just like, mm, <laughs> I don't like this. This this reminds me a little bit also of um, ABCs of Death, which I don't want to get into now. We can talk about that for forty five minutes after we're done with this, because. But yeah. You can. Okay. Well, you could say he was fucked. What the God, fuck? Wow, dude. man, you're just taking with it to the fuck out of here. You're ruining this experience. Don't you are just, you know. Jesus the ideas are. It. This is all right, this for is those of you, all right, for those of you who haven't like listened to creepy pasta before, the idea of a creepy pasta, at least for me, is it's kind of like a campfire story. Right. You know, it's not supposed to be that believable. You're not the guy in the corner. But you're trying That's to not you're not trying to imagine a scenario where it could be real. That's kind of and this absolutely also, could be real. So also, far. for those of you who don't know Dylan, um. <laughs> He's a chode. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, Good for you. <laughs> Not good for us. You won. Speaking of... Because um, uh, after, after this podcast, you don't have to listen to him again. We hang out with him. <laughs> mm. That's well, that is he'll be on he'll be on again Look, I think this has gone great so we're definitely going to do more of these maybe not tonight but in Onward. the future absolutely alright now we go to privacy.avi privacy.avi the woman the woman from uh, diana.avi is masturbating on a mattress wait, in the wait. interview which one's the which one's yeah, can you again? roll it back so we can get some Diana at AVI. Uh, that is she's playing the violin. I got it. That is the four minute. Yeah, that's the violin player. And the, the chicken guy's jerking. Okay. Yes. Okay. So privacy on AVI. The woman from Diana AVI is masturbating on the mattress in the interview room, while the man from Stumps AVI walks around on his hands wearing some kind of goblin mask. The door in this room is always closed in the other videos, but it's now open. In this video, the only light is in the room, and the hallway is dark. Near the end of the video, you can see an animal quickly run through the hallway. And finally, the last video we uncovered, which is the next one. So what do you think about um, privacy? It's, 
it's get it's just I don't know what it like, is, but like this whole thing <laughs> is reminding me of what is it? Uh, for some reason, like the camera is in my head that is like the Paranormal Activity kind of camera. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, well, it's no, just like dimmed down just, light and it's just creepy. Here's fucking the, here's shit the thing about these creepy pastas, like the whole like it's just these random like very bizarre situations. But it like I think it's the build because you're waiting for the resolution and like what like how how fucked it is. So like I have like a little bit of goosebumps right now because it's, yeah. it's just like really you just creepy. You a series of escalatingly uncomfortable. Right, right, and not, and it's it's like the it's like the old out it's like the the Hitchcock thing where it's like don't show, you know, don't actually show what the, the who the killer is or what the monster is yeah. or whatever because right. your mind makes up something way worse. So like when I'm re- when I'm reading the story, I'm listening to the story. It's like I'm trying to figure out how it ends, and it can only end yeah fucking horribly. This and is... like I feel like for like it helps that maybe Dylan's not doing this at all, <laughs> Dylan. But like I'm trying to like imagine myself like experiencing I have this. I have as, like, in my head. Yes. Like I'm sitting here. I I got, I'm fully it. erect. I'm thinking about taking off, <laughs> oh, and I'm listening to these that. videos. <laughs> so you know what it's I mean. Like, ooh, normal really... point for normal people. It's Save humanity. Well, well, I understand that. I'm I have it in my head, but I don't see the creepiness of it. Okay. Fine. There's That's nothing fair. creepy fine. about watching a woman masturbate and having a legless man walking around the <laughs> it's room. Just still, I it's just not creepy here, at all. Are you... Here's this. I'm not doing it. So okay, yeah, yeah, but, but are you just, picturing it? Just room? imagine you turn on your laptop. You're not doing some, like, it. Low but you know what? Freaking... Somebody uh, probably is yeah, right that's now. Creepy enough. It's just, it's just disconcerting. Yeah, it's yeah. They, that's all. They, they all right. Will. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, let me, can I read the oh, next thing in the jig? So, William gets the final one. This is a big one called useless.avi. Oh, that oh, the, no. okay. Useless.avi. Well, wait, hold on. What do we all think about the term useless.avi? What do you think's gonna I think going to happen? I think is this a snuff film? Does it turn to a I will film? say oh, this. Please. I'm going to spoil this right now. This uh, is the last video. Oh, well, the, yeah. finale. Okay. the finale. The finale. Useless.avi. I'm, 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 I'm thinking that I'm thinking the legless man's got some shit's gonna go down with him. He's got this one. He's got two too many arms. Is what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I think these creators thought the same thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Useless.avi. In this 18-minute video, a blonde woman from one of the previous interview videos is tied down to a mattress in the interview room. She attempts to scream, but her mouth is taped over. After seven minutes, a man in a black suit and mask opens the door, but he does not enter. He holds the door open for the animal that was running in the hall of the previous oh, no. video. It's revealed to be an adult chimpanzee, its hair shaved and its entire body painted red. It seems to be starved and abused with several wounds along its shoulders and back. When the chimp enters the room, the masked man closes the door behind it. The chimpanzee sniffs the air for a moment, it may have been blind, and notices the woman tied to the mattress. It goes into a frenzy and begins to maul her. The assault goes on for a grueling seven minutes until the woman finally dies. Called it. The chimp eats flesh from her corpse for four minutes as the video ends. Jesus. So, what do we think about that, useless... Okay, so that kind of stuff reminds me of what people actually find interesting. Like, kind of like people who are interested in Saw. It's like, you know, three guys, one hammer, that kind Tor- of thing. They call them psychopaths. Yeah, yeah tor- like that. There's a whole, like, shit. subreddit called Watch People Die. Like, Which it's is this, this kind of idea of... Really fucking it's fucked gross. up. It's like, it's hey, a, it's like that video you said, the three hammers and one bitch. And that's what makes this creepypasta work, is that it may not be real, and there's no real proof that but it is can, real, but, but it absolutely it. could right. be real. Right. Oh, yeah. Like, Especially in the I mean, deep web. Off the yeah. wall, yeah. that shit that nonsense as that, that is. it's not real, I would have believed it. Right. But You're sort you of... That, you, I, not, most creepypasta isn't real. Some ca- is. The, John, I, I'm, I'm, I this one is Don't say that. The fabled real creepypasta. All right, so let's end this. No, uh, don't yeah, do the whole thing, but just read. Do you, uh, just do the whole thing. Just do the whole up thing. To, it's up to you. Up to you. I just home run it. Not home run it, man. Just Go for it. The thread exploded with activity after this video was uncovered, and people discussed it long into the night. When I came back to the image board the next day, I found that the thread was deleted. I tried to start another one. They banned me. I tried emailing the guy who sent me the chain letter with the site's URL. Sent him five messages and never got a response. I've tried to discuss this website in various places, and I got banned frequently. The f- site itself was also deleted about three days after useless.avi was uncovered, likely because someone contacted the authorities about it. The only proof that normal porn for normal people.com ever existed was a few screen caps people took and videos from the site that people saved and uploaded on torrents, the most popular of which being useless.avi, which, I, which found its way onto a few gore sites. Whatever you upload them to, all the videos from normal porn for normal people.com get deleted after a while. And that's that's it. So, 
for most of you, that was your first taste of what I like to call a real creepypasta. The gaming ones are kind of an interesting kind of genre, but this is what I like to call like a real creepy. sort of creepy pasta that is supposed to make it sound real. So I want to hear overall, starting with Dan, what did you think about normal porn from normal people? Does it, it work for you? Does it, it not work? It reminds me of there was a movie that came out in like two thousand. And it was a shitty movie. It's like it's a really terrible. It's notoriously terrible horror movie called Field Fear dot com. Fear dot com. You seen the movie? I have not seen that it's movie. It's sort of kind of like the same thing where a guy's torturing people and putting it online, and they don't know if it's fake or if it's real, and there's like ghosts or some shit involved, because like anybody who watches it winds up dead or some shit. But um, it it it's 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 very similar, and I think um. In terms of this, in term in terms of normal porn for normal people, I think I think it works. I think it's creepy because, like you said, like we all said, it's it's believable. You know, how many times have you seen something on the internet that's like weird or disturbing, and then the next day you go to check it and it's gone, and like it. I think I think I think the creepiness comes from the, the anonymity of the internet, and that's why the story works. Because yeah. there's somebody out there filming these, and there's somebody out there doing this, and there's somebody out there making sure that other people don't find these videos and taking them down, right? So it's right. like somebody kidnapped a girl, probably <clears throat> tied her up and fucking you know, and had a monkey eater, or you know, had a had tortured a legless man, or you know, weird creepy shit. Really, really smart too to take it down right away. Right, right. But that's the thing; it, it, it works because it's you don't know who it is. It could be anybody. It's also interesting because of the message behind the website, which is to eradicate, you know, abnormal porn. Right. It's supposed to be. We're supposed to just have normal porn for only normal people. But what? That's and this the thing. is what's normal. What is no, like, yeah, you're normal? Yeah, right. normal, 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 normal. What's normal to you? Is normal is yeah, a subjective normal. thing, right? And that's why it works because it's like what? What? How do you define normal? What is normal porn? to how do you? you define normal specifically. People? I think the whole point of that title was just to create a context to subvert, really. Like, that is not... I feel, I feel like almost yeah. like, I don't know, maybe I'm looking on the outside too much on this one. I just, I see that title and I'm like, all right, that's just, you know, yeah. to throw the it's weird It's suspicious, shit. yeah, yeah, It yeah. makes yeah. us feel weirder about yeah, it yeah, yeah, because yes. they want us to expect purity. One of the things I really like about what we're going, what's going on here right now with the talk about it is that none of you have, like, the backgrounds and all of the, like, the... There's sort of, um tropes i guess in creepypasta that a lot of people kind of roll their eyes at and it's interesting that none of you like you know it's just you're looking at it as just a story not as a creepy we're starry-eyed uh newborn babes right exactly but, but, um, okay, you know what's oh, creepier? Sorry. That somebody fucking thought of this story. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, that's, that's what I was going to say. Head, you know? Know? The <laughs> author of this story is a really good author. His name is Cosby Daff. Um, shout out to Cosby Daff. He is an awesome author. He also wrote the Godzilla NES Creepypasta, which is one of the funniest, um, a really long adventure. That might be something we might do in the future. We should, um, write, it. We should write our own Creepypasta. I've already written a few, actually. Have you really? Yes, you I've written a few. You should share one of the podcasts. But don't tell us you did it. Don't yeah. tell us it was you, and then we'll sit, and then and then we'll we'll sit there and the shit all over <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, this one is just not this a This one's just stupid. stupid. This is just stupid. Well, Dylan, everything's stupid. True. So. Speaking of Dylan, um, you were playing Devil's Advocate pretty much that entire time, and that's it. No, no, listen, that's interesting. That's I wanted fine. to hear everybody's opinion, and it's interesting to see someone who didn't yeah, really his see it. Wrong. Actually, can I give well, my me, opinion? No, no, I have, is wrong. Well, I'm joking. But I have an opinion on Dylan's opinion. Well, let Dylan has his first. Dylan, all right, without interrupting. Him. Dylan, what do you think? Like, what do you honestly think of the story overall? Honestly, this would probably appeal to the abnormal person in society. That's her. Especially fault. because, honestly, when I see this, I'm like, you know what? This doesn't really. I don't really see anything. I don't see it. Dog up there. Thanks for the observation. Yes, well, was Ray Wolf raising his hand? Uh, yeah, um, I don't know. The one thing <laughs> I thought that kind of jumped out at me that might make this creepypasta not work as effectively and i think it kind of happened with dylan i feel like there are people who can like turn on videos on the internet and they can watch it feel nothing and close them because they don't invest themselves into it or think that like oh my god someone's there you know, a, they just think like they right. just think like that's not i'm not right. that's just something i'm watching on the internet and they can right. close it whereas other people open it like holy shit there's someone out there killing someone you know what but i mean I find, I find that that's fascinating to me because especially with you dill because you can't watch any 
you can watch stuff with gore in it, but you but you ha- you 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 get you freaked get, out. Yeah, you get grossed you get, out. You get grossed out, and I'll sit there and watch people get their fucking heads cut off in movies because I know it's not real. Exactly. But you don't have that disconnect. But then something like this, you're like, oh, maybe if you that's actually bullshit, watching and it's it, like I'm like I'm you know? getting a little creeped out. Maybe it's Probably because I watched real is so fake to porn. you and the fake is real to you. Right. So it's weird. It's weird that there's that that weird disconnect because yes, you exactly. don't you refuse to watch the Evil Dead remake. It might be <laughs> <able to laughs> like, like it might just be visual for you, Dylan. It might. Well, I can like see. I can. I'm picturing it, but I'm like. You Maybe if you actually saw a girl get mauled, though, you'd feel uncomfortable. Right? Yeah, I it's think like, I would well, definitely. What feel... makes me uncomfortable is the fact that these people are watching, and they're, right, and they're like doing nothing it. about it. That's part of it. Yeah. That's, that's the issue that's I'm just having. It. That's, is it real or but is that's, it that's, right, yeah. this, But that's what Will's saying. There's a disconnect. Well, People Nate, are watching Nate. this. Plus, maybe beaten off to it. And it's like, it, 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 that's that's what's supposed to creep all, you out. All it does is anger me for the right. fact that people make this shit and live in, this, yeah, live in today's society and can get away with it, no problem. And people do nothing. That's well, kind of, all that, right, that's, the Punisher. So, like, I'm you're, dead. like, angry where the rest of us feel <laughs> uncomfortable about I'm it. Angry. And that's... Yeah. Uncomfortable is what the creep is supposed to do. And to answer Nate's point, it's not about giving a story that's real. It's about giving a story okay. that you know in your... In the back of your mind, this is the I mean, this is the best creepy pasta, and I'm gonna admit it right now. This is one of the best creepy pastas out there. So you've I wanted for us right off the bat. I knew right away this was a great one, and I'm gonna tell you why this is a great it's creepy all downhill pasta. From here. <laughs> no, um, this isn't my favorite one, but it's a good one. And the reason why is the when you can take a creepy pasta, because in the back of your head, whenever you read a creepy pasta, in the back of your mind, you know it's not real. You know it when you watch a horror movie. Right. You know it's not really happening, right. yeah. but some of the best horror movies still creep us out. It, it, it's, and it's because it's one of the concepts as far as creepy pastas are concerned is because of the idea that this could be. Could be believable. Like it could happen if it was like a protagonist specific story, then it, it's right. like this could happen to right. you. Right. Like you can stumble on a chain email and even get a chain email for some bullshit like this. It's very realistic. Has anyone right. seen the movie Funny Games? I seen yes. Okay, because yeah. that's just like that. Where like, yeah, there's nothing yeah. scary in that movie, but it's terrifying. It's like two guys break into someone's summer home like, yeah, and just tie them up and torture did, yeah. them. And there's nothing. They're perfectly normal looking guys. There's nothing scary that happens in a horror sense, but it's terrifying because of how real it is. And there's, all, and there's then also that, weird shit in that movie, right? Like they, they, there's like weird editing they shit. Rewind he does. The he movie rewinds the point, movie and it, like while they're in it, yeah. The yeah, editors yeah. were shit, but like yeah, kind of the weird. core of the horror is just how like real it is. I guess. Like, with this... That's what this is trying the, to kind of do. The problem I found with this also, like, when I was imagining things, I was imagining things with female porn stars, and then when the monkey came in, well, I, was the, thinking of, I, was think, I was thinking of Congo. The movie Congo. <laughs> Are you serious? There it is! Oh my You're god! Just, just, <laughs> and then I finished. What the fuck is wrong with you? Wait, and is that a then, joke? It's not a joke. I'm then, being on a serious. People got killed by apes. And then... Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> yes. And then I came. And then I came. Nay, what do you think? <laughs> Nate, you haven't noticed that. over that. I mean, I think it's a very, it's it's real. Definitely, I saw good. you shiver a few times. You I'm definitely got a like, flinch. He's, a, he's such a bitch. For the, the audience out there, <laughs> does, so no one really knows that we actually do have the lights off, and the fact that oh, yeah, it's very dark in here. I don't yeah, know, it's true. It's just I don't know if it's just me, but like it, it may be just me. But when I am in the dark, it brings out more of the um, feel to the, spoop, the story. The spoops, and I'm picturing it every down. moment, every every single story that I've heard was actually literally just drained in my head <clears throat> and me thinking how creepy it actually is so, and how believable it could be. And it's, it doesn't, it definitely does not sound <laughs> really fake because that's definitely something that could be out going, there. Going um, back to your original point, how in the back of your mind, you know it's not real, but your mind, you know, it's it's plausible. Yeah. That's, that's the case with any good horror movie as well, or any good horror story in general. It's not, it, watching it, you can be immersed, or you can't, or you're not immersed. But even when you're not immersed, if it's still good, it, it'll linger with you after you watch it. Like, um, I keep bringing up movies, but uh, keep going. It's fine, man. Everyone uh, loves movies. Uh, there's a movie that came out this year. I think it was this year, beginning of this year, or the end of last year. It follows, which is very I'm meaning to watch it's a, that. It's really good. Oh. It's a very simple plot. Uh, a girl. For those of you who don't know, a, a girl, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, it's like the first ten minutes, a girl, um, she meets this guy, and he's really nice, and he starts acting strange, and then they have sex in his car, and uh, 
he like knocks her out, ties her up, and he, he brings her to a building and he's like, listen, something's going to follow you now because somebody slept with me and gave it to me and I slept with you and gave it to you. So it's kind of like a, a, a metaphorical... Or a, the heart. Like a metaphorical... STD. STD. It's literally an STD that it's follows you around. A, it's a given it's to somebody. A, it's a demon STD. But Is it like, just like a safe sex movie? No, see, that's, 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 what, just, I, that's yeah. what I thought. I thought... Because like... Cause like because, like, watching the Bob dude, that whole movie's a metaphor for grief and, and everything else. <laughs> yeah. But, no, this movie's not. This is, like, a literal sex demon. Because, like... So Captain Planet doesn't burst out of the, no, end no, of the no. condoms? Captain like, Planet. come on, kids! No, but, um... It, it's Stay just, away it, from that it's, vagina! You're, wa you're watching it, right? And it's, like, it's creepy. It's got a yeah. lot of atmosphere. But then after you finish watching it, it's, like... Because the, the whole thing is this demon thing can, can be any person, Right? Anybody, and you can only see them. Okay. So like, you you like you'll be standing in a crowd, and you'll see somebody beelining towards you, and it's like, is this is it the thing? Is it like you don't you don't you never know? So stuff like that, it's like feel. right. It's but it's like it's it's one of those things where you watch it and you're kind of immersed, and you're like, and then you you. Yeah. You, the movie ends, and you're like, alright, that was good. And then, like, you think about it. You f and you how fucking creepy that actually is, that s something could follow you for the rest yeah, of yeah, your yeah. life, yeah, relentlessly good, follow good, that's, you. That's good horror stays with you. It's, right. Yeah, that's that, what I think stories too. like that, too. I'm gonna to bed, go home you know? tonight, and I'm not gonna sleep, so I'm gonna be thinking about normal Red ass, normal ass chimpanzees. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what, what that was the point. That's what That's where movies also have a bit of an advantage, because not only can you listen to it... Oh, it's very visual. You can Very visual, yeah. I think with Creepypasta, though, and there have been discussions that I... Like, this is just form threads that I've been part of where it's like, well, Creepypasta could be a movie. And it's really kind of hard oh, because, first of all... Well, here's the thing. Just Creepypasta movie, is very short, generally. It's like, yes. you know, that was short like... Do, we did that for... We, like, we read for like 20 minutes. We could do like, a, a sh like YouTube videos. Like short film YouTube videos. We could. No, those exist. They and we're definitely going to go... Um, we're definitely going to eventually maybe tackle maybe, my favorite author. Are they like... Um, like that, um, but maybe we should watch one of those, because I feel... Maybe Dale would... I think, I think, oh, yeah. is one of those the YouTube video where the woman keeps walking through her house and the doors keep opening behind her? Uh, I don't think That's so. That's creepy as fuck. Okay, it was well, scary as well, shit. This it was like kind of reminds me... Long. Like, when you guys think of Chris Pasta, I think of the oh. movie... I think it was The Ruins? Where they were in Mexico, and they stumbled... They stumbled upon this, like, ancient temple... And the natives would not let them leave the temple area. No, no. And then um, these roots were actually making these sounds like of actual cell phones and actually attacking the it, tourists. It's, and it's the I think it's the dis oh it might be the ruins. That, yeah, because the there was the so descent as well. Which it is wasn't no, the descent. It's it's not the descent. This it's, one where the, the plants actually grew inside this girl oh, and yeah, started yeah, initially yeah. trying to cut them out and it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that one. But it's like freaking holy. Real quick, um. What was the one, what was the moment in this pasta? And maybe it was a movie, and maybe it was a certain part that was read. What was the moment where you guys weren't taking it as seriously? Because, you, you, it, like, at the very start, you might have been like, oh, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I didn't give at a beginning. shit. At the beginning. Through the whole thing, I really don't think I didn't have any... Like, Wait, what part, Well, all right, you didn't give a shit at the beginning. Wait, you're asking... But, like, what part did you, like, say, oh, fuck? Like, um, the... Can I just look at the videos real quick? Because sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. And that's amazing, by the way. See, that's that's another thing I wanted to do, was fucking get these guys to like creepypasta. I and say, I think I successfully did that. I would say the midget... Uh, not the midget. The, the <laughs> legless guy breakdancing. Oh. He is kind of a midget, though, to be fair. Oh, no. <laughs> it, was, it was the second one. Because the first one I was joking about licking the washing machine, but then the second one was the mime sobbing. And that was the one that we were That, yeah. that yeah. was creepy. I think, actually, that one got me, but uh, the one that got me even more was probably the mannequin. As well, okay, well, that was the killer. Yeah. Let me, let me, oh, yeah, well, the mannequin Aside from the was chimpanzee creepy. mauling, that was but, the okay, killer. Okay, so killer. let me, let me, let me ask, let me ask you guys something. Wow. Would it have been creepier if there was no connection between the videos? Like, if it wasn't well, it kind of isn't, room, really, in a sense. But, like, it's in the same room, they're the same actors in some of them. Would it be creepier if it was just like a series of different? I think it's more uncomfortable to imagine one person is able to repeatedly do horrible things right. than a bunch right. of random people do random things. Right. right, right. Because like, at least, that at least if it's multiple yeah, areas, yeah, then it's like it. at least if it's multiple people, then it's like okay, they only were able to do this like one. Because I imagine like one. One horrendous man in the shadows yeah. conducting all And he still might be out there. Guy, the like, he's guy. out there. He's never and been he's, called. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Or she's never been that, called. That too. He's probably in the South, though. <laughs> oh, she's. That, 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 too. The, um, 
the, the not being able to identify where the film's being shot. That was kind of creepy. Yeah. That's what if also... it was Dylan and he's trying to cover his <laughs> he's tracks? Like, <laughs> he's like, no, this is bullshit, guys. Come on. Fucking... No, man, this, is, this isn't real. Like the chimpanzees the comparison, in the basement. <laughs> like the comparison oh. I make with this to real life, I think you guys may see this. ISIS with the reporters. Well, now we're getting all political now. Okay, I, no, okay, I don't no, mean to get political. No, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to get political, but when I see this, I see the same, pretty much the same thing. You let a chimpanzee kill a woman. It's kind of like the same thing as having a terrorist kill a reporter. I don't. I think mean, so well, <laughs> I think well the difference, Dylan. This, nothing's being Dylan. You're missing yeah. one big point, and this has been the and this is the big point that really in the back of your mind makes you think, oh my god, what the fuck is this? This is you're supposed to be jerking off to this. Like that's the intent. You're, this is normal porn. I'm not the opening. This I as, like, heard that when ISIS. I read this. I didn't. No one's see supposed it. to. No, no one's jerking off to the reporter getting shot. But people Part are supposed to be jerking off. Is you're looking for something to just yeah exactly whatever pleases right, so. you. Whatever is normal to you, it could be anything. It's just he's, it's just it yeah. But reading this, reading this does not make me think people are jerking off to this. This makes me think people are just watching it. That's Dude, fair. One time my friend did start jerking off to but a video, even, though, and the girl but even died. if people are still watching What? It, Wait, hold he, on. He time thought, out. He thought he was watching, like, an intense BDSM video and turned to be a snuff film. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's kind of like um, this. Yeah, but, yeah, but even, even if, even if you're thinking about plus 18 watching warning on this, this one. watching this uh, and not beating off to it, that's still fucking creepy. It is. Like, you're still... You're still watching somebody idiot. getting You're still killed. Watching. Honestly, and imagining up. trying to like force myself to jerk off makes this a t like ten times weirder. This, okay, you, you know, have to put yourself me. in the position of the protagonist uh. who's bored. And also, the other thing that I um and this again, this is from the Undercooked Analysis podcast. What they're talking about, um, that's uh, Midnight Marinara's channel. Um, yeah, the where they're talking coming. about, <laughs> like Senpai noticed me. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, they're talking about how ah oh, fuck, I lost my train of thought there. Oh my god! Podcasts. No, puns. it's 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 something what they are. Oh my god! I literally lost my train of thought. Oh, that's so bad. Pun game too strong. All right, just final thoughts. Final th thoughts about um, normal porn. What do you what do you think overall? Like, it's a good story, bad story. It's I mean. a good story. It reminds me a lot of. Well, you said you saw every season of death. No. Oh, okay. Well, I just I just said yes to keep the conversation okay. flowing. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a. ABC's of death. For most, most of you don't know. Um, don't watch it because most of it's shit. Sold. Uh, but there's a few. There's a few. There's a few. It, basically, they take 26 different horror directors and they give them a letter, and then they have to make a movie. Oh fuck! Out of I've that heard letter. of right. this. This time. So not there's the one. Way. And it's very similar to this actually. There's one. L is for libido. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So it opens up. I'm oh, gonna. Jesus. I'm gonna try to do this as early as possible. All right. It opens up, and there's two guys strapped to a chair, strapped to chairs, naked, and there's people watching them, and it's a, it's an Asian horror film. Oh, so of course. So, of course so, it. <laughs> all right. So, all right. There's two guys, there's two guys in a chair. Here. There's two guys in, in in two chairs, and they're naked, and there's people watching them in like masquerade masks, and there's a stage in front of them, and a woman comes on, and and she's naked. And so the objective is they have to beat off. And whoever comes first lives. They kill the other person. So That's... this guy this guy keeps this guy, you know, he faps it and he, he finishes first, so they kill the other guy. So it just starts escalating. Every Wait, day does gets, he have to keep going? Yes, every day gets oh, fights. Every so day gets it's fucking like a, weirder. It's a torture porn game show. Right. So first it's a woman and she's it's like naked. Saw. Then the next day it's a woman, but she has no leg and she's jerking off or she's masturbating with her with her fucking. Why lesbian. do you know this stuff, dude? Because I watch movies. It's oh. Her, she's she's masturbating with her Culture. prosthetic leg. It it gets it, dude. It gets even. It gets even yeah, worse. Yeah, stop telling me. Like. The, la the la last one. The last one's the worst one. I don't want to know. Hey, just cutting it. I. Hmm. Let's not do it. Should just, I? Let's say. No. Let's say we did, but we don't. Let's save that for gonna, another I'm time. Gonna, I'm not gonna say it on the podcast. I will say it later. <laughs> well, everybody, I was supposed to creep them out, but they've ended up creeping me out. I'll put it on. It's on Netflix. Oh, you will not. Oh Jesus! <laughs> All right. Well. I don't know. This I mean, one a yeah, lot. Well, who, who uh, final thoughts for everyone else? Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah well, well, what off. do you think? I, I know, know you seem to like the story a lot. Yeah, I thought it was really effective. I still think creepy pasta is dumb. <laughs> All right, thanks, Will. Well, fuck you, Will. <laughs> well, not... And we're gonna <laughs> prove him. Out. And we're gonna cool, prove him but, wrong. Uh, and we're gonna I, prove I, him I wrong. I second that notion over there. Okay. Well, but thank I you. will. I'm. I would be happy to listen to more. 
that are good. I would too. Yeah, I would. And too. I will get more. So I would too. Nate, just do a better job. I... Wow. Oh, oh shit. Shane, you can get the more. fuck out. Yeah, I'm telling. Get the fuck off my channel. So clearly, Savage. Dylan's never gonna be on the podcast again. You're <laughs> this is gonna come to my house. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um, Dylan's done. And oh, Nate, oh, and by boy. proxy, so is Nate. But Nate, final thoughts. <laughs> Um, and I just, I thought it was, uh, it was very, uh, clever whoever came up with that, um, but it's also, like, well said, dumb. Um, oh, damn, we're all just, dumb we're all just no, shitting no, on now? It is, right, right at the very, I didn't mean to start it the is right pretty, <laughs> it is pretty, like, dumb, but it is very interesting. It's very fun. It is, it's definitely fun. Like, okay, fun. just to keep the Creepypasta fans in mind, what they mean is that <laughs> the, they're new to Creepypasta, and they're like, it's so a new concept to them. <laughs> Like, seriously, Dylan does not know what he was talking yeah, about. I, I, <laughs> I'm kidding. I know, I know nothing about All right. Pasta, so. so I've been John, a.k.a. The Skillfully, right. and this has been my friends, Dylan, Nate, Dan, and William. Ciao. So join us next time, and no one talk here, because I'm going to play a little, um, a little song that will kind of hint people as to what the next creepypasta that will be read will be. Shh. Good night, everybody. No! <laughs> John, why are you taking your dick out? Why are you taking your dick out? <laughs> Please! <laughs> Not here! <laughs> oh my god! Easter egg! Alright, well, if you... If you've read Creepypasta, you know what this song is. So... La, 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 la. So... Yeah. Yeah. So right. join us next time. Yeah. This is going to be an awesome one. Okay. Push your dick away, please. <laughs> so until next time, farewell, friends. Bye.